Welcome to the charred lands of Solo Lane. It's Pirate Space Wolf against Grand Slam Hercules. Yo ho, fiddly D attacking my minions. Not okay by me. He slams him into the wall. The answer to this retaliation is to keep clearing those minions. A pair of archers remain. Dare be forced to retreat back to his tower. They stare each other down. Who's got the better fancy dress costume? Hercules driving strikes tear into the wall. Nice angle. Space Wolf takes the opportunity, picks him up, and throws the scallywag into the tower. It's so and death. It's the ultimate showdown. The battle of destiny. Space Wolf leaps over that ball. He ain't going to be walking the plank today, matey. Dark Secret, what's his secret? He loves eggs, and these five are out to take them from him. Team Red against Team Anubis. Tear opens up with his fearless, causing Ra and Scylla to miss their abilities. The Sith Lord adds to the juggling, but the hands are down now, grasping the enemy. The plague spews from Anubis's mouth. The lifesteal prevents his death, and he gets a triple kill. Best trick for last, though. He's been holding back this whole time. The Gaze of Death destroys the remaining two mages. Penta kill! The destruction is off the charts. This is a straight up power punching play. The magical brawn of Dark Secrets gets him a penta kill. Anubis is in the perfect position with his back to the wall. Nobody can avoid his plague of locusts and his grasping hands is laid down perfectly. His opponent's mistakes were small, but to exploit them under this much pressure takes a talent and a lucky coin. Fight's already broken out. Team Blue won. Hell of a lead. Team Red on the retreat. Ymir blinks over from the back half. That's a solid freeze. Glacial strike going for the full kit rotation. Shards of ice. Not a single casualty. Ymir makes it to the other side of the wall. Tear jumps over the wall. Trying to get a good angle for Phil. As Phil puts up the wall of denial. Gets a super five-man freeze. What's that coming over the jungle? Is it a monster? You've got to be kidding me. No one dies from that? Nice work, Ymir. Sunshine's got it from here. Down goes the crush on that. That's a triple kill. It's Ra and Ulra left. Ra is looking scared, and so he should be. Sunshine's got minion back up, and she's using them. It's going to take more than Solar Beans to take out these meat bags. Good dodge in the axe. Sycamore crush. Not enough to kill him. Ra's waiting for his cooldowns. Little Duke riding on his holding out. Solar blessing with zoning with that now. Athena the hero. We need towards them both. Shield wall on the ground. Sunshine pins them down. And the last thing that Ulra ever does does not finish off Sunshine. Sunshine! That was a lot of destruction! It's a first. All ten players will get credit for this one. Once upon a time, on her gets caught by a freeze. He beads yet continues to fight. Ra arrives. He gets the full duration of Mesmerize. The Shards of Ice is next, ready to fire, but Ymir is late on the robotic delivery. On her gets away with a disperse. Apollo dodges searing pain. The shifting sands used to help escape. Apollo now wanting to secure the kill on the sprinting on her. He realizes this isn't going to happen safely. Not with all of everyone from blue there. Meanwhile, behind all this, Thanatos is fearless into a corner. Chunks of lice dissipating. Apollo is going to land here. Ymir is about to freeze, but Hovering Death pulls Thanatos out in time. Thanatos contemplating trading himself for the level 19. Apollo, he feels like it's a good decision, and now Ymir and Tyr have to spend time avenging that. Back over to the Gold Fury now. Sobek sets up on her with a throw impale. Ra provides glorious healing on her stands inside of it. The storm call was called, but little impact. Shock, now sprinting away, starts wailing on Ra. What's this chicken doing? A fantastic dual laser over Shock and Ymir. This sets up Scylla for a brilliant double kill with the monstrous ultimate. Green is bad. Privateer still in play. He sets sail into On Her. On Her barely escapes. Tyr takes a Wolven Fury like a boss. 
Team Blue are gonna chase. Tears got boots of steel. He doubles back to Agni and passes him the torch. He takes the searing pain. Tear just out of range. Welcome to the play, Agni. What have you got for us? He saved his dash for escaping, but not so fast. Sobek here reels you in. So many sprints. Scylla doesn't want to see the dance of fire. She cripples him, but the flame dash gives Agni just enough breathing room for swashbuckling adventure time. Tear in the blink of an eye. Puncher, the scallywagging demon girl. Somebody get that Sobek a pirate skin. It's carving time for Tia. Agni is back. He could take him out with it, but Agni rain of fires himself perfectly. Sobek dodges to survive. Is it going to make much of a difference? No. The power cleave finishes off the play. Or does it? Unher is sprinting back. He escaped earlier. How is this going to end? This is what I call the thousand percent necessary pillar in pale. Agni responds by teleporting after death. Far too late to evade that. There's so much awesome in this play. Everyone contributes in their own way from all over the battlefield. A series of close calls, back and forth action, and exemplary responses and decision making. Sobex lurking in the waters hits Apollo just before he takes off. This puts him below the threshold for Thanatos' hovering death to take effect. Apollo was truly a threat, and Thanatos opts to take him out of participating further in this battle of the gods. Sobek and Unher clearly coordinating this throw. Shock takes the pain and takes the long way round to his beat up teammates. He evades an impale with this quick turnaround after the throw from Sobek. This leads him into a death trap as Scylla appears behind and shows them the real meaning of smite. Team Blue appears to hold the higher ground now. Tear forces on her out of combat, but it's still three against one as Ra re-enters the battle. Tear tech and tag teams in Agni. He side shifts out of the laser circus, unlike Agni, who likes the pretty colors. Not long after joining the fight, Agni is already on the run. Perhaps he has a legendary skin in running away. That certainly seems to be the case. He buys enough time to set up Tia with the most excellent basic attack blocking blink and destroy tactical maneuver that hooks Scylla and saves Agni. I give that one five OMGs at least. Agni sticks around oddly enough, but he does protect himself well with this rain of fire. If Sobek wanted to kill him, he'd have to stand inside its fiery circle. Circle. The last power cleave, but not the last kill. On her is back. Not from the dead, though. He wants the last laugh. It's sure to be nothing less than fabulous. The shifting sands pillar used as a tombstone. He lets Agni attend his own funeral. Cataclysm, Kimo Fred thrown to the back. Could they get another kill? Crushing Wave comes out, he's still alive. There goes the duck! Judgment has been brought down on him, and Kimo goes down already. Oh, but Lass is going to pay for this. He's gone too far. Fearless is going to be good, but not in time. Trick Snake's now in trouble. Desert Fury's going to be good. How did he escape with that helm? That man on his last legs, the best on no legs. The Game Hunter on giant legs is chasing him down. Knockoff of Shockwave, Jingle Bang on the ground, Sandman goes triple kill. Look from above, the skies come down. Quad Diamond, he's got the kill. Go for Shadow 2, the best. Oh, no. 